Hello APA users, I am going to show you how to format your paper using Google Docs. Uh, the first thing you want to do is log in with your school email address, which I've already done. Then you're going to go into Google Docs and click on a blank document and start by giving it a name. I'm going to name mine APA Formatted Document. And then you're going to go ahead and begin by inserting a page number by clicking insert and then page number. Inside that box you're, you're going to notice that different first page header selection um, pops up. You're going to check that box and when you do you're going to notice that the page number disappears. So we're going to go back to insert and page number. And we need to make sure that that page number is aligned to the right. So we're going to click the right align button and then we need to move the cursor to the left side of the number and we're going to type the words running head followed by a colon and you'll notice that the only letter that's capitalized will be the R in running and then you're going to in all caps type a shortened version of your title and then you're going to want to align this with the left margin so I'm going to hit tab I'm going to use my tab and space keys to do that and you don't want to go too far so what happens is your page number moves down if you do if you do that you just simply click the undo button and it works like that you're going to click on you need to change the font stop, uh, size and type so you're going to hover over the text and click three times with the left mouse button and then change that to Times New Roman and 12 okay you'll click underneath that box and you're going to go ahead and center using the center align option and type in the information that will be on your cover page which will start with the title and then you're going to hit enter and you're going to put your name you'll hit enter and then you're going to put the school and then you'll uh, even though APA does not require I would like you to put the date as well now the easiest way to do the rest of the formatting well let's go to the second let's go ahead and hit enter and go to the second page and fix that header there. So the header here is only going to be the shortened version without the words running head in all caps. And again, you're going to want to align that with the left hand margin. So you're going to hit tab and space until you get that all the way over there. And if you go too far, you'll see the page number pop down. Just click undo. Hover over that title or that shortened version of the title again. Click three times and change the font to Times New Roman 12. Now what I would do just to make this a little bit easier is go ahead and start typing your paper here and then we can fix everything else in a few moments. So I'm going to copy the text of my paper and you'll notice it somehow aligned to centered because I had it centered still so I'm going to go ahead and highlight or select all that text and left align it and of course now I have to fix my paragraph indentation and I have to center I'm gonna, I'm gonna change that title so that it's and I'm gonna center that title because on the first page you're Title should all, your title should also appear on the first page. Okay, now that I have my text of my the text of my paper, I am going to go to edit, select all. I'm going to first change, make sure that my margins are correct. So I'm going to click File, Page Setup, and make sure that what all the top, bottom, left, and right are all set at one inch, and they are. Then I'm going to change the font to Times New Roman 12, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on the line spacing option and click double. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in front of the shortened version or click in front of the
cover page title and enter 10 times so that it centers on my actual page and then I will click in front of the first page, my title that's going to be on the first page and enter until it appears on the first line of the second page. And there you go. Once you've formatted that correctly, make sure you don't have any extra document at the end there. And you can see that the heading shows up there on each page and it's different on the first page. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.